couple of years ago, I filmed a Horizon FD87. It went on to be one of the most popular videos we've had on Aquaholic. Two and a half million views last time I checked. So you can imagine how excited I was when I discovered that here in Florida is the very first FD110. This is a similar concept, but a lot larger. And this is incredible. You're really going to want to see all of this. So much space in here. Basically, it's not a planing hull. It's a fast displacement hull. And what that means is that it carries the volume a lot lower and it's a lot wider further down and the space that that gives you on board is incredible. We're gonna step on back here. It's got the high low platform as you would expect. And in fact, you can take an 18 foot tender on there. Let's go all the way around here on the stand. Here we go. There we are, 18 foot tender on there. And in fact, there's space for another tender or you can put the tender in another location a bit further on in the tour. Access down to the crew area, we're going to show you all of that, of course, and the engine space. We're going to take you up here, first of all, and show you the accommodation, because that is spectacular. And it starts right here. This cockpit is just huge. I mean, this is the sort of thing you normally find on a 130-footer, not a 110-footer. It's just vast. Look at that. Bar area over on that side. And in fact, if you stroll across there, you'll see we've got things alike the ice maker, bit of storage, drinks, and the fridge in there, and the sink. And you'll see that theme is repeated right throughout the boat. There's hardly any spaces where you don't have those three things on the outside of the boat. It's a very, very social space. Access to the side decks here and here. What's neat about these is that you've got little doors that come across. I'll release that, there we go. And that stops the wind ruffling through there when you sat out the back and ruffling your booth on. And this, this is the interior. Look at that, that is spectacular, isn't it? There's a day head right back here. So that's nice, you straight in from the cockpit. You've got facilities there, you don't need to go traipsing through the whole boat if you're outside and you want to use those. Big, comfortable seating area here. Massive television over on this side with the sound bar and so forth. And then these big floor to ceiling windows. You can see they've cut the bulwarks away down there so your view is right out onto the water ton of headroom in here as well it's spectacular if we head on forward a bit further we've got the dining area now this is clever for a few reasons firstly you've got a side opening door here and here so on a nice day when it's not too hot you can slide those doors open you get a lovely cooling breeze through here makes that a really great place to sit but the other thing that they've done with this is this table folds you can see there's a, a section there it lifts over and then you can move the whole thing. You can see there's securing pins just down here. It goes across there and makes that into like a sort of a bar area or a servery. So having a party, you can have your food laid out down here and down here. These are height adjustable, so you can use them as bar stools over here if you want to. Just makes this a brilliant party zone. And I love this kind of chandelier in the ceiling as well. Let's see if I can show you that a bit better. Very nice, looks like ice, it's fantastic. Wine cooler is over here. And then we've got bits of storage dotted around the place for whatever you want to keep in your storage. The galley, you can see, connects right through, but there's a partition that comes up there. Also, you can partition off with a pocket door that slides across here if you want to. And in fact, you can close this one off too, put it the right way. There we go. So if you want to have these as separate zones, you can do. If you want to open plan, those doors disappear pretty much completely. What else have we got here? These are refrigeration here but also a load of it around here this is the sort of boat you could spend a lot of time on with a lot of people so clearly all this stuff is really important if we open this one for example just masses of storage about the place got this island in the center cooking as you can probably tell for yourself is over here loads more storage I'm obviously not going to open it all but just to give you an idea <laughs> <laughs> just to give you an idea they're like that the reason that one's like that actually is there's an extractor fan down underneath so that needs to go somewhere that one's trash compactor we've got uh, cooking here and here big dishwasher over here you can also partition this side off so that just comes across there again it just depends how you want to run the boat and side access door so the crew you can have this partitioned off crew can come and go without going through the guest areas that works very well okay plenty more to see let's head on around here and forward 
again with the storage everywhere so for linen or extra glasses or whatever else you want to keep lots of space to tuck everything away this then is a main deck master cabin we've got wardrobes here and we've got this here how nice is that nice little area to tuck yourself away more wardrobes down that side over there dressing table big windows on both sides fantastic view out of course there's blinds that drop down little circular fellows are opening portholes for ventilation uh, tv over here of course and then just bits of storage about the place like so and then what we've got here is twin uh, bathrooms with a central shower so toilet is on this side and the sink and this one will partition off so we lift that and slide that and find it's locked back <laughs> here we go there we are so if you want to close that off of course you can do let's put that back as i found it and then massive rainfall shower in the center and you can see there's a similar deal over there but also in here more big hanging space and drawers so that is like that we'll come around here this is this lovely dressing area the view out over there just fantastic exactly the same deal on this side access into here storage in here toilet with the pocket door and the sink so that works really well because you've got individual areas but then the big shower in the center but what a magnificent room that is very contemporary color scheme as well i think it looks great very modern very fresh very lovely and this again is all wardrobe space in places like this drawers plenty of places to tuck everything away okay we're going to head down to the lower deck next that's down here and there are another four cabins three of which you could say are vip standard because look at this this is huge big double bed wardrobes all the way down here the lovely big hull window again that square section is an opening section so you want fresh air in here you've got it a lot they start to put a bit of dark wood down on the lower deck just makes it a bit cozier somehow tv av equipment and then these doors slide across to close this up the pocket doors you've got the shower on this side it's a rainfall shower and we've got the sink plenty of storage and then the toilet with a opaque door that closes across to give you a bit of privacy there this is fantastic, isn't it? I've been so keen to see this one. This is the first time I've got on it and it's not disappointing. If we come out of here, we've got uh, another fridge down here, for example. Um, we've also got like a sort of utility room in here. So this is storage for maybe linen or other bits and pieces you want to keep in here. They've got drinks in here at the moment. But yeah, just a great big storage area just for the lower deck. If we go back here, it's another of these VIP standard guest cabins very similar to what we just saw wardrobes across here drawers not going to open it all obviously because we'll be here all day but just give you a quick peek this is the kind of thing you would expect we've got the av equipment again and we've got exactly the same as the other one that we just saw the sliding doors here shower at one end an opaque door that closes off the toilet at that end fabulous you're not going to have people arguing over cabins, are you? Because they're all brilliant. All right, we'll head forward again. Another thing that we've got down here then is the laundry. Check this out. So washing machines there. Again, a load of storage about the place. Like so. When on a yacht like this, you want to make sure you haven't got stuff hanging around and so there's something or somewhere to put everything fantastic isn't it the sink in here as well so that is that these little controls you might see around the place these are all for the air conditioning so digital touch panels another cabin here this one's got the twin singles in again with the big window again with the, uh, the storage so this one probably is the only one that you wouldn't perhaps class as a VIP but it is nonetheless a very generous cabin uh, ensuite in here shower is tucked in behind there like that but yeah no complaints there whatsoever however 
if we head forward again across this threshold, we find this. And this is just fantastic. Love the way they finished it with little illuminated shelving around the place. We've got these little storage areas tucked away like this. It's just beautiful. And then the wardrobes are over on that side. But that is a very, very generous cabin. They all are down here. There's no sense of compromise. And this, I think, is what I was talking about when we're on the outside of the boat discussing the fact it's a fast displacement hull. It means you haven't got a sort of V shape. Everything can go right out to the edges, and they take full advantage of that. Ensuite is in here, like so. And the shower then, rainfall shower, is in here. Brilliant. OK, that is the lower deck. I think we've done that justice. Let's head on up. We've got a, um, uh, an upper deck as well, and a sky deck. <laughs> Just so much to show you on here, we'll keep on going. So if we come around this way, you see we've got these floating stairs here, look great. And then we come around again, and up again, and this is the upper deck. So what you have here, first and foremost, is this helm position. Check that out. That's pretty comprehensive, isn't it? We've got the four multifunction displays across here, so you can have navigation, cameras, the operating system for the yacht, depth on that one. You can set those up however you like, of course. And then we've got the instrumentation for the Caterpillar engines is here. We've got the bow and stern thruster controls, engine controls, autopilot, the wheel, of course, communications, all the kind of stuff you'd expect, remote control for the FLIR, night vision camera. You've also got uh, searchlight controls here as well for two individual searchlights and then the forward sloping screens with a tremendous view out across the bow. That's fantastic. Side access doors on here, little desk back here as well, which is very helpful if you're the captain because you're somewhere to work, and then a seating area, so if you want to come up and enjoy the ride, they can do. But this will close off. You can see there's a partition here that slides up, and there's a pocket door that comes out of there. So if you're operating the boat at night, people can use this area back here, but this can be kept dark for obvious reasons for navigation and, uh, and obviously we're going to see where you're going. If you come out of here then, this is the Sky Lounge. It's a little bit more casual. We've got the big TV up here, great place for the kids to come and do some gaming or watch a movie. Just gives you another completely separate indoor comfortable zone on the boat. And again, you've got things like the, um, the wine cooler is there. We've got refrigeration here there's an ice maker built in underneath if we lift this one here we've got the sink and this is what I was saying about the fact that every sort of social area on the boat is all self-contained for catering you don't need to go far for a drink you also don't need to go far when it's tinkle time as Marianne would say here we go day heads for the upper deck all right let's head back out so open that one. No, oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's head back out. Onto the aft deck. Now, what they've done with this is they've kept the furniture very modular and freestanding. And the reason for that is because it's very much owner spec as to how you're going to use this. Because there is a big crane up here. You can lift a tender up here. You can keep jet skis and other toys up here. Again, it'll take about an 18-foot tender, so you can get a pretty decent-sized tender. You could keep it up here and keep the bathing platform free, or you could have it on the platform if you wanted to. I guess you could have two if you really wanted to. It makes the whole thing so versatile. And then if we come over here, there is a gas barbecue on this one. And we've got... I guess that's where the gas tanks go. Yes, it is. There's a regulator for it there. And so that'll drain over the side. So if there's any issues, you don't get obviously problems with gas buildup. And then bits of storage about the place as well. Let's come right aft. We've got the bimini up, giving a bit of shade as well. And then we can look out across the back of the boat. That's that raised garage with the transom that lifts up. We'll go down and look at that area. So what have we got next? We've got walkways on either side. We're going to go down this one. You can see there's also a walkway up. We're going to take that in as well. But I want to show you the front of the boat first of all. So this is taking us up past the Sky Lounge. You also see the door. That was the door that came out from the helm position up here. There's wing stations on here. So these are controls for the boat. They're on both sides. You can see how this comes out. And it means you can stand here when you're docking the boat and see her in. 
and then if we come forward again another fabulous area up here on the bow got your sink again got your ice maker again got your fridge again all the essentials of life taken care of and the hot tub is here too check this out oh that's really nice isn't it what a great place to be okay we will come right up to the bow some pads up here on the front and then this is kind of like a crew area really you've got your uh, winches all that kind of stuff is all up here and that one there that's storage for various deck gear and bits and pieces so you can get things away warps or whatever else you want to keep in there like so okay let's come back up here now what we've got now is a walkway that takes us back down to the main deck we're not going to go that way we're going to go across here because we haven't finished up here yet we've got another deck to go <laughs> would you believe all right let's come back down here another horizon next to us there right on back I've got my steps in touring boats like this don't I steps up here take us to the sun deck not even going to say it it's all there now sunbathing here you can have a hot tub here if you want instead of the one on the bow I guess you could have both if you really wanted to a lot of customizations. as I was saying earlier with these and then a wonderful seating area up here we've got the hard top so you've got plenty of shade and we can come back and there's more sunbathing here so that's just a fabulous chill out zone come and do some sun worshipping come and get some amazing views because you're so high up here you're looking over the top of everything and then right on top of the boat we've got the track vision for the phone and the tv we've got radar of course that night vision camera is right up there on the top one of the searchlights is there another radar you can see just there so very well equipped for all your various navigational needs okay we're going to head back down here i think what's left is the crew areas and the engine space so what we'll do now is we can come this is the um the sky lounge we've got another walkway down this is taking us now down back to the main deck where we came on so what we'll do, now there's a couple of ways down to the crew area. You can get down through a door just around here. But I'm going to take you in this way. So there's another access to come straight out onto the aft deck. Now again, I talk about customization. With this one, they kept this for a bit of storage and made the crew cabin really big. If you want to, you can move that back a bit and you can have a beach club here instead. And then the crew area is just slightly smaller. But as this is, the crew area is quite magnificent. So we've got refrigeration down here, we've got cooking down here, we've got the hob. Also, more laundry facilities for the crew. Remember we had the laundry room as well. Lovely mess area down here. There is captain's cabin on this side, so nice double bed. You've got uh, AV equipment. There's also the whole control system for the boat in here as well, so that can be kept an eye on if necessary. Storage and an ensuite, really nice ensuite actually, with a separate shower. If we back out of there, we can cross over, and here we will discover two more crew cabins. These have got bunks in, as you can see, but these again, ensuite, separate shower, very comfortable. Same on this side, you've got the storage, the hanging locker, the wardrobes and so forth, the air conditioning controls, toilet and shower. So three ensuite crew cabins, so five or six crew, no problem. We've come back over here, some of the control systems are in there, a bit more storage. TV in here, another uh, monitoring panel for the boat, and then we'll head on forward. Now this, I mentioned there's another way down, that is the stairway that takes you out and up and you can actually see the door there that takes you back into that main deck area but of course we don't want to go that way 
what we want to do is take a look in here. Now these are a pair of Cat C32s, they're 1,900 horsepower each. And they're given the yacht about 18 knots, 18 and a half knots, that sort of area. As I say, she's not a planing boat, she is a fast displacement cruising boat. And so the big news is the range. You drop this down to 10 knots, you're getting 2,000 miles out of her. You drop her down to um, about 8 knots and you're getting 3,000 miles. So she has got some pretty decent range. This is a great engine room, isn't it? Well lit, loads of headroom, loads of space to get at everything. Generator outboard, there's another one on the other side. Water maker on here, of course. All the usual filters and plumbing and all that kind of stuff. As you can see, massive fire suppression in here as well. There's a camera in here, there's various cameras dotted around so the ship can be monitored. Got a little sink in here. The uh, stabilisation, I think I mentioned it has fin stabilisers, there's power takeoffs on the generators so that you can run the fin stabilisers without needing the engines running. So if you're at anchor for example, you just have generators on, fin stabilisers will work perfectly well. Battery switches. This is interesting, this is a power manager. What this allows you to do is plug the boat in anywhere in the world and whatever the voltage and whatever the frequency, that will convert it to what the yacht actually needs. So you don't have to worry about where you plug in, that takes care of everything for you. So you go to uh, Europe, you want to go to 240 volt, you can do 110 volt here in the USA, no problem. Whatever hertz it is, it's all managed by that. And that I think is a pretty comprehensive tour of the brand new FD 110. I say first boat. So we are privileged to get on board of this one. Where are we going to end up? Let's wander back up here. And I'll finish up with another Horizon in the background. There we go. So I just want to say massive thanks to Horizon for organising that tour. That's been really good. They've allowed me into the show early to film this one while there's nobody about because it's a really good chance to have a proper look at the boat. And huge thanks, of course, to you all for watching. Let me know what you think of that one, but I think that is pretty magnificent. And we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.